Hi, I'm Dr. Joanne Henwood. I'm an optometrist here at Pacific Eye Institute. Today I'm going to talk about comprehensive eye exams and what tests we perform during that test. So during a comprehensive eye exam, we're going to start with your history, your medical history, things like diabetes, high blood pressure, thyroid disease, and then we're also going to talk about your ocular history. Have you ever had eye surgery? Do you have any new symptoms that you're concerned about? After that, we're going to check your pupils and make sure they're responding appropriately. We're gonna check your eye muscles and your vision. How far down on the vision chart are you able to see? Do you need glasses to improve your vision? And then we're gonna dilate your eyes. When we dilate your eyes, we're putting in some eye drops to make your pupils really large. Your pupil's like a window to the inside of your eye. Opening that window allows us to check the health of the tissue on the inside of the eye and we're checking for all kinds of diseases like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and cataracts. Based on the symptoms that you're experiencing or things that we see during your eye exam, we may order additional tests like photos of the inside of the eye or scans, and those are things that we'll go over with you so that we can determine if further treatment is necessary. When you're seeing a generalist for your comprehensive exam, we may also at the end refer you to a specialist. For example, if you have a problem with keeping your eyes open wide or you feel as though your eyelids are droopy, we may send you to an oculoplastic specialist. Or if we find problems in the retina, we may send you to a retinal specialist. We do have those specialties within Pacific Eye Institute. So normally your first visit is with a generalist to figure out what's going on and see exactly who you need to see at your next visit.